The VSS3 has the similar richness and depth of character that the System 6000 does. So to me, that sounds like what I want to use. My name is Mark Christensen, and I am the head engineer here at Engine Room Audio in New York City. I've been using the System 6000 for a long time. I think I've had one of those for probably about 12, 15 years. From what I can hear, it sounds identical to the System 6000, which is what I want because the System 6000 sounds so good. Um, one of the things I noticed right away about both the VSS3 and the System 6000 is, is that the imaging of the reverb itself is very precise. The System 6000, uh, basically I have to use it in an analog context. It's basically an outboard device, um, but the VSS3 allows me to integrate a software version of those same sounds within the Pro Tools session. Obviously being able to save presets is a great help, you know, um, just opening up the session and having everything be right there saved you know, both my own personal presets as well as the factory presets. Uh, it just makes the recalling the mixes that much quicker. So I do definitely save, you know, individual sounds uh, that I've crafted for the individual instruments. The first thing I'll do is get rid of the pre-delay. Um, you know, I find that uh, having pre-delay on reverbs in a mix, unless you're doing it uh, for a specific reason, it adds an extra transient. Um, I know that, you know, pre-delay exists obviously in real life, uh, but in the context of a mix, I often find uh, that it can kind of make things a little muddier. Um, that's the, kind of the first thing I'll reach for. Um, you know, obviously uh, the amount of sort of high dampening that's going on can also have a huge effect on the sort of sound stage of the reverb. So tweaking the EQ can be also a huge variable. And there's very few other plugins that have that kind of depth and spatial character. Um, in terms of the hardware, the only thing I can really compare it to is the System 6000, uh, which, you know, basically it's the same algorithm. So I guess it makes sense that it would sound the same.